MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with a video to show you how to get your samples and kits and sounds inside of Machine 2. There's a few different ways you can add sounds and samples, but I want to show you the best way to make sure that everything shows up in the browser how you want it, especially if you've made your own kits with tags or you've tagged your own samples and all that stuff. I want to show you exactly how to get that in there. So, of course, you can still go to your file menu and load your kits directly. If I got old kits that I made, I can actually load these up and they work just fine but they're not going to show up in my browser. It's not going to automatically add the tags that I've had on them if I do it that way. So the quickest way and the best way I suggest doing this is going to the file menu and choosing import machine 1.x format. This is going to import all the kits, all the tags, all the samples and everything properly. So let's find a kit. Slay, so we do the flux stem pack. So we're going to import that. We just click the folder. And now if I go back over to my library, you can see right there, it has the stem pack. And I can actually load those kits. And what it does when you import this way, when you import your kits, it's going to put them in the machine bank because it's machine format. It's going to put them in the machine bank and then you'll have, you know, whatever the product is or however it's tagged. Depending on how the person tagged it, it's going to show up under types. So this one's going to show up under the stem pack and then I got all my stuff there. And I'm going to show you why I prefer to do it this way. Because you could also go to file, preferences, library, user and add something this way. So I'm going to show you if I go in here and add it through this way. All right. So we'll find the kit. Let's see. Then we'll rescan it. So you notice those kits aren't actually in there. But if I go over to my samples, they're right there. So it imports the samples, but it didn't grab the kits. And that's it's kind of hit or miss that way, depending on how the kits were tagged, how they were imported, different stuff like that. So that's why I prefer to do it import machine 1x format because it imports everything. So I'm going to go and delete that and show you the other way, show you how it actually imports the kit. So we'll delete this one. So now I'm going to add it this way. Of course, you see all my samples are there, of course, and right there I can go directly to it. But now I actually have the kits in there. You can see them right there. There's my kits that I just imported. So that's why I suggest anytime you want to import kits, tags, and everything, do it from this way. If you just want to import some samples, you can do it kind of either way. But if you have kits already, whether it's a, a library that you purchased or kits that you've made yourself, use the import machine 1.x format because it always imports everything, including the kits, and turns them into machine 2 kits. Now, another thing I want to make sure you're aware of, let's say... I want to go and just import some specific drums. You'll notice I can't just go and import these files anymore. You can't, you, they have to be in a folder now. So if you can't just go inside of a folder and grab specific drums to import, you have to import a folder. Now if I wanted to click on this folder, I can go ahead and do that and import it to the library and tag it and everything. I can go there, you know, and start adding my tags and do whatever I want to do. But if you just want to import a specific file, you can't currently do that. So that's another thing that I want to make sure you are aware of because I know it's going to trip a few people up. But again, the main thing that I want to make sure you understand is if you got pre-made kits or if you got third-party kits, anything that was made for a machine, you want to go to file. You want to do an import machine 1.x format because it always imports everything. Now, you can, like I said, you can still, there's, there's certain things you can go into the preferences and the library and the user and add there. Depending on how it was made, sometimes if it was really thoroughly tagged, it'll pick up everything. But I've found it more consistent to actually go to the file menu and do an import 1x. I've never had any issues importing this way. It always recognizes all my kits. It always recognizes all the tags, recognizes all the samples, everything. So this is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, showing you how to import your Machine 1 kits and samples and make them show up properly in Machine 2.